All right. So, Fang's Wall Game. Let me turn this fucking shit down a little bit. All right, Fang's Wall Game. Um, he's exceptionally good at the wall in terms of getting damage, but the pr his weakness basically is his wall damage. So, uh, especially as an ender. Mm, let me think of a couple combos. So basically, the what I mentioned to you earlier in open ground, you can finish your combos with that that move, and it will cause uh, it will deal a lot of damage in combos. But at the wall, he doesn't have anything like Lars's or Leo's strings, where they're so uh, consistently always hitting no matter what. Against the wall, my favorite bound move is down back two two two. The reason I like this bound move is because no matter what, usually, regardless of the angle, you're still going to hit him. As you can see right there, um, you know, it, it's just really reliable. The only problem with it is it's low damage and it eats up a lot of your wall hits. So in order to do a good combo, you have to reduce the fillers and stuff. So let's say you do just a regular combo. Here's an example combo. You can only do three hits there and get, uh, you know, it's decent damage. It's not great. Uh, other characters, g other high tier characters, which Fang kind of falls into that category, will get a shitload more damage off of the same combo. Now, I prefer down back 2 2 2 as the wall uh, bound move because of its uh, reliability, but his best damaging wall bound move is forward 4 3. And it also only uses up one wall hit, which is really good. So with forward 4 3, you can do combos like this shit and then add a forward 3 in there and you still get you get a little bit more damage and it's pretty solid overall um i think that's uh, that's the thing like forward four three the problem with it is that at certain angles it will not work let me see if i can so at some angles it'll do weird shit like that and you do get a combo still but it's it's not 100 percent reliable and i'm all about reliability so at the wall i prefer this uh down move uh much more now, other than in combos, I think it's important to, other than his combos, it's important to talk about uh, his fillers at the wall. And his most important filler is 3-3-4. Three, three, now, there are two options with Dragonoff, but this will, I mean, I know all you guys don't play Dragonoff, but uh, this will give you an idea of how you can use Fang at the wall. So let's say you wall splat, you can do 3-3-4 three, three, right away and end with a, a move that, let's say, uh, you can end with your move that, Let's say you're Lars, you can do the big damage string, you could do all kinds of shit if you do 334 with no delay. But if you do a delay in 334, you can get a low hit like that with the third hit, and that is the best combo to do. So let's say you bound 33 delayed four. See that's no good. You have to get the delay or else you don't you don't get the combo. Like that. Nope, fuck that up too. Nope. There you go. 112 damage. That's pretty good. Uh, 334 is his main filler at the wall. It's really solid. Um, let me think. What else am I missing? Yeah, you gotta delay it to get that uh, that low hit on the 334 last hit. But as far as so that's combos. You know that's a that's basically his combo game but at the wall i think some of the most important tools obviously down forward one because down forward one leaves you at zero as i mentioned earlier on block and on hit it it's plus six so this is your big wall pressure tool i mean you're gonna want to use it they usually will try to sidewalk at the wall and as i mentioned earlier fish hook is super good for that because in open ground fish hook has bad range so they can backdash but at the wall they're fucked it tracks 360 they can't backdash out of the way and it's plus two on hit so you can just keep attacking afterwards it's a great move for for wall uh for keeping them still at the wall don't move you know it's like don't even think about sidewalking away from me you know what i mean so back four is really good down forward one exceptionally good to keep them still these two moves are like your basically your main tools for wall pressure now when you feel like okay fuck this guy i'm gonna start taking some risks i'm gonna take this uh put this on block all this move crouch dash one plus two is really good at the wall it's plus five on block uh it's uh plus six or seven on hit and it's just exceptionally good kind of difficult to sidewalk even though it is linear but it, it can be difficult because it comes out of a crouch dash and that will re orient you especially if the wall is at like a slight angle just even a slight angle if they sidewalk 
in the wrong direction like if he were to go right from this angle crouch dash one plus two is really good um for that scenario uh let's see what else is really good at the wall i mentioned earlier this move is fantastic at the wall because feng is one of those characters that most of his good moves at the wall are the same speed they're approximately between like 14 to like 20 frames right so down four to one back four and then you know on occasion if you want a wall splat down forward two two is really good forward forward two all these moves are like around the same speed so when it comes to a player that's really good at like reading tempo and like um he he you players will kind of good players will kind of sniff out when you're gonna push a button so for those types of players if you feel like oh he's gonna push a button and and, and you feel like you're getting a little predictable four forward one plus two is really good for that and it hits at the wall and it's harder to sidestep at the wall too but the good the, the reason you're using it at the wall is because it gives you a free down forward two two for a wall splat and that is gonna do a shitload of damage and piss everyone off so four forward one plus two down forward two two and then you get all kinds of bullshit damage and look at this damage i didn't even finish the combo and it did 130 fucking points so really really good damage and great move overall look at that 144 damage it's not even that hard to do so that's a shitload of damage and you can also tag off of it because forward three four is a combo off of four four one plus two full hold so you can do whatever the fuck you want you could do like four three bring the other character in whatever so uh, four four one plus two extremely good wall move make sure you remember to use it because on block it's also only plus uh i mean on block it's like minus one or two so great move uh tons of damage safe it has some tracking just remember it. and the the it's so slow and it looks so weird that the opponent will often be like what the fuck is that boom and you know they don't like that um let's see what else is really important at the wall oh i was talking about down back two 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 so this shit is great at the wall because in open ground it has no range as you can see but at the wall they can't really back dash so down back two two back is such a good cancel at the wall because they're like fuck my back's to the wall i need to worry about not getting my ass kicked right so then you hit hit them with this low if the first low hits the second low unlow variable like i mentioned you can do the cancel and then do all kinds of bullshit afterwards you can do all kinds of stuff it's a great move to like get the opponent to think like man i'm frustration it's all about frustration it's not 165 life bar two versus two is 180 uh, thank you, Jimmy Tran, keeping these uh, chat monsters in check while I uh, while I try and do this. Uh, what else am I forgetting for a wall game? Uh, as I mentioned, down four two two is pretty much your best wall splat move. It has good range. I didn't mention this move in open ground, but it's a really really good move. It's safe. Down four two two knocks down every time. Good damage. Um, uh, when they tech roll off of regular hit, you can dash in and do a lot of stuff before they can even attack so that's really good um and it's your main wall splat move as i mentioned lots of damage um it's guaranteed off of a lot of stuff off of i mean off of this thing it's guaranteed so it's a great wall splat move uh, what else four four two good wall splat move uh, back one will wall splat but you have to be really close for it to wall splat otherwise you can use magic four it's uh it also needs a counter hit but it will wall splat from a little bit further away uh, it's a little slower than back one, though. Uh, what else is important for this guy's wall game? I think that might be it. Oh, yeah. Sidestep. Okay. So anytime you hit them with any combo or anything at the wall, basically, if you hit them with any combo and you're just like, okay, whatever, he's waking up. That's when you use sidestep. Anytime they're tech rolling, you use sidestep, and this is your mix-up. Sidestep 4 is going to combo with down back 2 2 2 very reliably at the wall. So that's really good. And sidestep 1 plus 2 is mid, and it's 0 on block. So if it hits, basically, you get a whole combo, which everyone loves. And that's exactly the reason why I don't like sidestep. I mean, uh, forward 4 3 at the wall. So if it wall splats like that, sometimes it takes them off of the wall, and I don't like that. But down back 2 2 2 will always keep them at the wall and it's really consistent and really good um so sidestep one plus two if you use that as your mix-up to sidestep four then you can use the zero frames uh on block 
and do something like magic four or back one or even just continue your pokes whatever pressure at the wall or even uh, fish hook them or something you know whatever the point is that you're using this great mix-up for sidestep four which is so dangerous when you sidestep at the wall the opponent is really inclined to duck because they know what you want to do you want to hit him with that bullshit but they don't know that this shit is coming and it's safer not only is it safe i mean it's zero on block and it's gonna wall splat anyway it also has a really wide hitbox so if they're trying to sidewalk it's not bad it's a really good move overall this is a great mix-up um so it's a it's a solid move overall Ugh, what else is really important for wall game I mean, throws, of course, are important, especially his one throw, and especially from back turn, because, okay, I'll show you some back turn shit. So when you're at the wall, and you turn back turned, you do one plus two, which is not particularly dangerous away from the wall. However, at the wall, you can bound with back turn two two. So this is a mid launcher from back turn at the wall. Back turn one plus two, back turn two two, and then you can do whatever the fuck you want. So that's really good. I don't know if... Uh, I don't know what the full combo is off of it though. Let's try some goofy shit. Yeah, full combo. That's really good. So back turn one plus two is a launcher at the wall, and because when you're not by the wall, the opponent is always so inclined to duck. That makes this really valuable. Um, back turn throws are important from here. They're important all the time, but his back turn one throw at the wall is really good because it doesn't move him away. Like, let me show you what it looks like when they're not at the wall. So this is what his one throw looks normally. He throws them all the way across the room. No wake ups. But at the wall, he doesn't throw them anywhere. So you can like fish hook. You can keep the pressure going. Also, if you want to be a dickhead and you tag throw, uh, I mean, if you tag off of his one throw, the camera doesn't even know what to think. Did you guys see that shit? All I'm doing is position re reset. I mean, the same position every time. You don't even know where Dragonoff is going to come from. And if you don't know where Dragonoff is going to come from, that means the opponent definitely is not going to know where they're coming from. So basically, his one throw into a tag can result in some weird shit sometimes. The camera will just get wacky sometimes. Even at the slightest angle. Look at that. What's going on? What? What? Why did he come out that side? You know? You get what I'm trying to say. So... One throw is really good at the wall. Two throw is also very good at the wall because they can't back roll and they're stuck right in front of you, just like that. Um, I should also mention that his one throw, if it's broken, as well as his one plus two throw, they position change. So if your back is to the wall, you can use those things to position change and shit. Um, I mentioned down back two, 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 but I didn't mention that if the opponent is on the ground, let's see, position settings, status CPU, face up front so if the opponent is on the ground and they do not tech roll after getting hit by down back two down back two 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 will combo so they have one opportunity to tech roll here if they do not tech roll that down back two you're gonna get a launcher at the wall and if you're mashing on ta you can you know get your ta there so down back two 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 is a really good okazemi tool at the wall because even if they tech roll right there i'll well, turn tech roll on for you even if they tech roll right there, they still have to deal with that third hit, which is safe. This is minus nine on block. So, you know, this is a really, really great Okazemi tool at the wall. Even if they fucking just chicken the third hit and, you know, you're good to go. It's a really great tool at the wall. And it's underused. A lot of people don't use that shit. So I think it's important to mention. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm missing. But basically, his wall game is really good. You apply the same poke strategies as you do in open ground that i mentioned earlier except the difference is they can't backdash so his wall game is really good but the problem is that his only real weakness that's keeping him out of like top you know top top high tier characters like mishimas and lars and leo and that shit is basically the raw combo damage enders he doesn't have really good enders for his combos and it's just the damage because his wall game is solid too he has a lot of stuff that you know he has a lot of little stuff that i'm not even gonna get into like up forward three is a jumping move that will combo at the wall just the way you saw me do it right there at the right angle you could just do up forward three down back two 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 and you get a combo this is a safe mid high a low crushing mid i mean it's so good fantastic mid to use at the wall and get a full combo um also you can use his homing move at the right angle and it does the same thing 
and uh, there's a lot of things like that. I mean, the wall really uh, makes it so that ex he's extremely difficult to avoid. Usually in open ground, the back dash is the big deal, and that's why you have to use the down back three and homing move and down forward two two and forward forward two and stuff like that. Forward three, really important. But you know, uh, against the wall, all of his pokes and pretty much everything he does just becomes way more dangerous because uh, they can't go anywhere. The one tool that they have to get out of your poke range is taken away by the wall. So what you're doing as Fang against an opponent when their back is to the wall is you're making them have to take that all in, you know, dragon punch hop kick. They have to do it because you're just pummeling them with bullshit. They don't even know what the fuck to do because it's just such bullshit. I mean, nonstop frame traps, you're just doing all kinds of tricks and you're forcing the opponent to take a risk. And that's the key. And that's why I think his wall game is so good. So uh, hopefully you guys, uh, maybe I should cover some more wall combos. I don't think there are any other ones. I always do the same ones. But uh, hopefully you guys understand uh, how to kind of treat this character at the wall. I think he's very similar. Uh, overall, he just becomes better because of the spacing. And again, the only real problem, as I mentioned earlier, is his wall enders, as you can see here. Down back 1-2 is the only one that will consistently hit low on the second hit after uh regardless of the number of hits in your combo down back one two is his best wall ender that i know of um and i think there's another one fuck what was that combo help me showed me a combo i think it was like oh what was it four two four i think uh i don't know fuck it uh, but the point is that the character is really strong overall. A lot of people, especially Fang players that have been playing for a long time, for some reason they're complaining about this character not being good, and I think he is extremely good. I think there aren't many top players that exist that would put him below top 15 out of 60 characters in Tekken Tag 2. So basically, he's a fantastic character, really fucking cheap. Um, I hope you guys learned something because this was a huge pain in my ass to do. It took all day. So uh, the next thing I'm going to cover is questions and answers. If you guys have any questions, I will uh, talk more about that uh, in the... Uh, forward 3-4 is the best damage? I didn't know that. No, it's inconsistent. It's in inconsistent. Forward 3-4... Okay, I'm, this should be answered in the questions and answers section. But forward 3-4 at the end of combos is hella inconsistent. And I'll show you why. It works. It works at the end of these combos, but it's really inconsistent. And the problem is, even if it works, it's super dangerous to do. Because if it doesn't work, it's launch punishable if they tech roll. That's no bueno. So launch punishable is not what you want to do. Um, four, 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 three. I'll try that. Ninety nine. Oops. Doesn't seem like the most damage, internet. Um, anyway, so uh, I think that covers the wall game, and the next thing I'm going to do is answer your questions. So let me turn this fucking shit off. <laughs> 